what's up everybody? Hope everybody's enjoying their day to day out here doing some metal detecting and using my White's MX Sport. Uh, I've actually had a community center by where I live. I've never been here before, but I mean, it's it's pretty solid out here. Not a lot of trash or anything like that. So uh, it's got a decent signal. Uh, let's see what we got. See here in a little bit. All right, so I'll dig in this plug right here. We're probably ringing up in the 70s this is a White's MX Sport, but I dug this little fella out of here. Looks like some type of pin or something. Looks old. Maybe Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, I don't know. Looks like a pin or something like that. Pretty cool though. Let's see the back. It's kind of like it's got a shank or something on the back of it. See that? So that's a pretty unique find. Alright, let's see what else we can find, guys. Alright, just got this good signal. This one's about uh, 60 or 70 way down the hole. Looks like it possibly belongs to, I don't know, maybe a ring or maybe something that goes on a piece of clothing. But that's kind of neat looking. So, alright, let's see what else we can find. Alright, I was getting a 23 right now on my detector. And it looks like I got myself a wheat penny. The back sure looked like it had the wheat thing on it. Oh, let's see. 1940, yeah, 1940. Right there, so the four and zero, turn it around. There, one cent. I'm finding a bunch of wheat pennies lately, so that's a good indicator. Alrighty, let's see what else we can find. So I just got myself a 16, uh, switched over to my Equinox 800, and I got this little necklace looking thing. It says, be prepared, and it looks like it has wings. I'm seeing nothing on the back side. There's another piece that came with it, but I don't know if it was like a pin or something. But not really sure what that is. Kind of neat looking. All right, let's see what else we can find, guys. So it looks like I just found myself part of a car toy. I'm not sure if that's like a Jeep or not. You can see the little girls on the front and the wheels. That one is ringing up about a 12 or 13. It's about six inches down, but uh, don't know where the rest of it is. All right, see you here in a little bit. All right, guys, so I was getting a high 20 right here in this hole, and it looks like I got myself a coin spill. Let's see how many uh, coins we have. I'm going to move my digger over oh. so I can put the coins on them. It's just a regular penny. So got that. It's one. It's another one right here, 1981. That makes two. Looks like I got myself a Canadian penny. That one is from 1972. That's kind of neat. There's three. Get a fourth one. All right, let's see. Got a fifth one right here. That one looks like a, just a memorial, yeah. So that's number five. Got this right here, looks like a dime. That'll be my sixth coin. I still see a whole bunch more in here. All right. Number seven. Eight. There's the ninth coin right there. That looks like a regular penny. Number nine. We're still going. We're going to be going here for days, guys. 74. That's 10. 11. 12. 12. Might possibly have some more. I don't know yet. Let's see what we got here. There's some more in here, it feels like. Film on my fingers. Well, so far, 12. I'm gonna have to dig them out, but that's pr a pretty cool coin spill right there. So, all right, let's see what else we can find. So, right now, I'm working my way through some of the rocks. There's some nature trails and stuff out here where I am located right now. And uh, it was right here in the rocks. Got a pretty deep signal. I ended up digging this up right here. Looks like I got myself a 1968 penny. So, it's a decent year right there. So pretty cool. There's probably some more stuff out here, but uh, let's see what we can find. All right, we'll see you here on the next good target.
Hey guys, so doing some detecting right here along the sidewalk and I got myself looks like an old button, some type of flower design and uh, look who came to join us for the party today. Okay. It's uh, the Islamic uh, Tennessee gem himself. Yeah. Habib. <laughs> Habib. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys here in the next one. It's funny, I'm sitting here detecting and I swung my coil over a snake. It's just sitting there looking at me. Pretty funny. Looks like it's got myself another car key. I'm believing that's a Toyota. Looks like a car key. So, alrighty. Let's see what else we can find. Alright, looks like I got myself another key. I don't know what's letting me find all these keys, but uh. Let's see if we get anything off this maker's mark. Looks like it says Sergeant. Never heard of that brand. Alrighty. Let's see what else we can find. Just found another key, uh, maybe a couple feet down from where I found the other one. This one right here says West Town. It says anything else on the back. It says Made in USA. I don't know if it's got anything around this part right here. Mm, really kind of hard to see what it says. Something about keys today, I had to keep buying them. So, already, see you here in a little bit. So I feel like I'm repeating myself, guys. I just found two more keys right across from the other one. So we're uh, not sure if these were like a set or something and somehow they broke off, but I keep on a bunch of keys. Let's see if I can get anything off this one. This one right here says, looks like it says Samsonite, maybe? Let's get this little thing that's stuck in here. Let me see if I can get it out. I don't know if I'll be able to push it out or not. Let's see if I can get the back of this key to... There, that one fell off. It says... 1141. Really hard to see what that says. Not really sure, but it's a. Uh, I think this is the most keys I've ever found in one hunt. So, all right, let's see what else we can find. Hey guys, so we're at our permission today. Uh, you got Mario behind me right there, and you got John from the Equinox Hunter. Uh, we were able to obtain a permission at an old 1800s lodge from the early 1800s. Uh, we were waiting for one of the members to show up here and kind of give us a brief description on the building. I'll kind of walk around and show you what it looks like. I've been told that it was an old school back in the day, and uh, it's really old. Look how tall this thing is right here. And we'll go around in the front. Back here, you got a lot of old uh, headstones and stuff from the early 1800s. I've also been told that there's Civil War soldiers buried out here. But here is the front of the building. Uh, we're going to all come out here today and see what we can find. So wish us uh, some luck, and uh, we'll see you here on the next Good Target. Hey, guys. So I'm right here in front of the building right now, as you can see. Just got this right here. This is ringing up in the high 30s. Not really sure what it is. Let's see if we can clean it off a little bit. Some type of, it feels like an aluminum token of some sort. Uh, let's see if we can read what it says. It says thousands died for my freedom. One died for my soul. It's got a little thing here in the front. And we flip it over in the back. It's got some scripture or something like that. I can get it. It says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. And it says, Acts, it looks like 1631. So that's pretty neat. All right, let's see what else we can find. Hey, guys. That's Mary and John from the Equinox Center. Anyways, found myself. John says it's a 50 cal bullet. Pretty heavy. And, uh, yeah, that's the Tone Ranger right there, not Mario. Forget Mario. So pretty cool though, I uh, never found a 50 cal, but uh, real heavy. And uh, let's see what uh, Mario or the Tone Ranger found over here. What is that? It's like a football team or something. Could be, almost like the Denver Broncos. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna throw this back because nobody likes Denver. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so I was getting a good signal in this hole as you can see it's really deep, but something kind of neat right here. It says good camper. God's man or woodsman, something like that. It says brave. 
really sure what it is, but you need to find. So we'll clean it up and then we'll see you here in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so I just found this. It was pretty deep in the plug as you can see over here. Looks like it says uh, 14 over A. Kind of looks lead, but it's heavy. Not really sure what it is, but I've never found anything like that. So pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, guys, so it looks like John possibly found himself a V-nickel. Heck yeah, look at that, guys. You see that V turning it over a little bit more? There you go. Yeah, V-nickel, it'd be nice to know with the date on it. Front. Yeah, I'm still scratching away. As you can see, it's still got a coating on it. But uh, Pretty cool find. Heck yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, guys, so here's the end of the hunt for the week. Uh, Mario's done and John's done over there. Uh, here we go. We got some type of jewel. We got a 1968 penny. Also got a 1940 wheat penny. This cool looking shield thing right here. Not sure what that is. Possibly Boy Scouts. I got a button. I got a 1972 Canadian penny. Got this little like charm that says be prepared. I got a discolored penny. I got a total of five keys and then Mario found this today. Not really sure what that is. It belongs to a pen or lipstick. It's probably his personal lipstick but we don't need to know that. Grr. Grr. Got this stuff, some iron, piece of a car toy. And then the good finds today, we got this little, looks like a religious token of some sort. See the front and the back right there. Got it, looks like a piece of an old spoon. Got this says good camper and it said woodsman. And on the bottom it says brave. And then John, what did you say this was right here? The 14 over A? What do you, what do you call it? Uh, it's a bell seal stamp. Bell seal stamp. So that's pretty, you think in late 1800s, you think on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Never found anything like that. And then I, John says possibly 17, 1800s on this right here. And then I also got myself a 50 cal bullet. Pretty big. So I already hope you guys enjoyed the hunt and uh, we will see you next week.